Hello everyone and welcome to an unboxing I have for you today. This is the November cloth and paper subscription box and we will just get into it. And I have already unpackaged the items inside because I feel like that just kind of takes extra longer and is kind of cumbersome. So, all right. Now we will start with the pen subscription. And this one here is pretty interesting. It is called, I don't even know what you call that. Bay Oak Soft, I don't know. Anyway, it is heavy, that is one heavy pen. Um, so that's interesting for sure. So we'll check that out. But that is pretty cool packaging there. All right, and then we have this one, roller pen, and I tested it out, and this one is, is very fine. I mean, that is a fine, fine uh, pen there. Fine point, I should say. And it is blue, so that's nice. I don't have many blue pens. I usually stick with the black pens. And then we have this one, um, Tinsel, more plus ink. Um, very nice. That's kind of a pretty fun tip as well. And that's nice. Try that out. And this one I thought was quite interesting. It's a very pretty kind of stormy, cloudy gray color. Not sure if you can see that. Name. But yeah, that's uh, very nice, very simple, very streamlined. I like the color. This was a black one as well, as far as the color. And then we have another pen here that's a very fine tip as well. I'm not sure what that one's called, but anyway. So that's nice. Okay, and we will get into the box. So we have the implementation dashboard. We have the 2023 spiral bound planner, the today dry erase tab divider for the spiral bound planner, the implementation insert, drop stickers in three colors, journaling cards, sticky notes, and the paper clip. Okay. All right. So here's the journaling cards. This month we're focusing on personal implementation plans. List a few small changes you can make in your daily routine that could better support your goals and values. Okay. <clears throat> then we have action. A vision without action is a daydream. Action without vision is a nightmare. Yeah. That is true. You don't make progress by standing on the sidelines, whimpering and complaining. You make progress by implementing ideas. And then here's the Pinspiration board. Okay. Cool. All right. So the pen test sheet. So we have pulling cards. And then I've already opened the paper clip. So this is in fossil color. And it's a very um, pretty, just kind of a grayish color. So very neutral. And a good size too. Okay, then we have a little dust pouch, which is very nice to have. And this houses the 2023 Spiral Bound Planner. And I've already inserted the Dry Erase Today board. And oh, this is very nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. So this will be interesting to, I'm still trying to figure out, I've ordered a couple different uh, 2023 dated inserts and I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what, which ones I like from which company and which ones make more sense for me as far as the use. Yeah, so this is very nice, very nice. I like all of the pictures. It's very serene, very organic. And I think these are the vertical inserts as well. Um, yeah, so very nice. 
Oh, I see they've got the little password section. It's kind of cool to have. And it's bigger because the pass password tracker that I've ordered previously was the personal size, and I can hardly fit anything in there. So, um, but this is a good size. I'm not sure what size this is. Um, it, did, so it doesn't say, but it's a good size. I like got the notes at the bottom, important dates. So this will be good. This will be good to kind of test out to this type of insert uh, for the calendar and see if I like that. So this is again the 2023 Spiral Bound Planner. Okay, and then we have the sticky notes. It says pill. I guess that's for the design there. So that's interesting. And it's an ole as far as the color. Ole, ole, whatever it's supposed to be. Okay, then we have the implementation dashboard. And I got this in the A5 size, A5 planner. And then we have the implementation bundle inserts. So that's that. Personal implementation ledger. Okay, it'll be interesting to try. All right, let's see what else we have. We have some more sticky notes. These are the undated calendar. That's interesting. Okay. So not sure exactly, I guess you, I'm not sure what you do with it, but <laughs> anyway, some of these I need to look up and go, what do you do with these? But. I'm sure that somebody will explain it and we'll figure out what to do with them. Okay, and then we have the drop stickers. So we have Sedona, Angora, and Pistachio. So those are very nice and you get like a lot of these in here. So this will last a good while. So very nice, still kind of keeping with that fall color theme. Put those back in there. So yeah, all in all, I think this is very nice. It's a very simple very streamlined and interesting. So it'll be nice to, I've got really need to set up my A5 planner because I've not done that yet. Uh, I just have a bunch of <laughs> inserts and I have the planner, but I have not uh, set it up yet. And I'm just waiting for the 2023 uh, calendar to come in inserts and I will get all that set up. But I love this pouch. This is great for housing the spiral planner so it kind of went through that quickly but you get the gist i think it's like i said the vertical um inserts so you know i still don't know exactly what the little graph grid lines are supposed to be for but i guess i'll have to look that up but i do like um how it's set up here with the months the month on two pages you have your important dates and the notes section. Yeah, so that's cool. And I'm still trying to decide on, you know, I think the pens are very cool. Um, I like kind of getting different ones to see what I like in terms of the different types of pens. But, whew, but I feel like it's just getting to be too much every month. So I may back that down and just not get the Pinspiration subscription every month um so i'm just trying to be a little more thoughtful in that regard but do i really need that many even though they are cool they're very nice but i may need to back off on that um yeah so that's nice and the drilling cards are nice so it'll definitely come in handy but yeah so very nice very nice very keeping with the fall season and I'm excited about the spiral notebook calendar um yeah so I think very good I, I like um I like everything and I feel like I will use everything so um yeah so hopefully this helped you out and especially if you're trying to decide on getting um the spiral notebook 2023 I think that's very cool I like that they included the the little um, dry erase today um, divider that's very cool 
so yeah and I will try to figure out uh, like I said I ordered a couple of different inserts for calendars for 2023 so just trying to figure out what works better because I, I do write pretty big so it's tough in the personal size this size is a good size I'm not sure if that's this is I'm not sure what this is but the A5 I think and the half letter I have two of the I've got the half letter planner system and I've got personal and I have the A5 so I've got all three things covered sizes and we shall see because I do tend to write a lot of data on the calendar every day just keeping track of different things um so so we'll see it'll be a good test to find out what works the best and I'm not going to just have one thing I'll definitely still have my personal calendar uh to keep with me to take you know um on the go as well I just have to squish everything in and write a lot smaller which is hard to do but with these new pens with that really really ultra fine pen maybe that will help in that regard yeah so I think all in all again I think a very nice subscription month and definitely use everything in here and um, yeah so thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next video